Tuesday Mac, we are working on what? Who can tell Marvel me? Christmas. Who are we being inspired by? Um, <laughs> Martha Graham. <coughs> Martha Graham, absolutely brilliant, fantastic. Can anyone help Joe remember what the piece is called? Media Tragedy. Mm -hmm. Fantastic, mm -hmm. Laura. So last week we looked at the fact that Martha Graham um, was a pioneering choreographer and dancer and that she created her own technique called Graham Technique. And unfortunately, she's not alive anymore. She died quite a long time ago, but her company still exists and they still dance today and they still make work. And they recreated a dance piece on Zoom last year in lockdown, just like us at Magpie. And we are looking at this dance piece to be inspired this term. Well, the artistic director, Shannon Elba, uh, discussed the last 1937 um, dance that I did, 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 did to audience. And, and that's the photo of it. And um, I then, but it's um, I then that's I then that's a photo, so like in um, different boxes, I can um, and I um, create um, these um, ideas. Oh, there's a bit that I left actually, hmm. but um, I'll. Just, yeah, it's um so the four dancers mm -hmm. um um of the archive photos and asking them to create and a film as um a, um as life race because what you just said is the task yeah. that we are doing. So we are doing the exact same as what the company did. So pick yeah. four photos and then to create a slow phrase. So we are going to continue with that. I want to see you all doing your thing in your bedrooms, in your living rooms, just like me in my kitchen. <laughs> Lockdown life. It is true. I mean, haven't we all been dancing in spaces that we usually wouldn't dance in? And it just shows you that all of us dancers all over the world are in exactly the same position at the moment. We're all experiencing and sharing together. Well, because I mean, I would usually be in New York with the Martha Graham Dance Company, and I'm in, in London, in my kitchen, and I can dance with all you guys. So thank you so much for having me, and I'm really excited to uh, share with you the wonderful world of Martha Graham. Just, I'm going to say it first of all, everybody, extra points for drama. I want to see your passion, your drama, your feeling, Extra points for drama in Graham. Just I thought I'd get it out there. With the Graham technique, there are three fundamental elements, technical elements. That is the contraction, the release, and a spiral. And so these are all physical elements that we do throughout the class and then into our movement. So there's the technical elements and then there's also the use of breath, the use of emotion, and 
as I said, extra points for drama and emotion and the full energy through your body, whether you're wanting to be an animal or you're uh, portraying a really strong character, it's essential that you use your whole body the whole time. So we got it, it's four different movements. We've got the shoulder rolls, we've got the up and over, we've got the forwards and the back, and then we've got the sweeps here, the spirals, okay? Follow along, I'll be doing it with you, nice and slow. Remember, try and use your whole body, all your breath with you, and make things as big and as large as possible. Yeah, that's beautiful, Annie. Just like that. Use your whole body. Wonderful. So, Simon, yeah. if you please have one, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, in, three, four, out, two, three, four. Great. Yeah. Could we have um, eight counts in, please? Yeah. Everyone ready? All good? Ready to go, starting with shoulder rolls. Eight in, please, Simon. Ready, guys? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One. guys so one two three four five six seven eight We should move on to a bit of learning of rep now. How does that sound? Does everyone feel warm? Their bodies? Ready to go learn some Martha Graham repertoire? Great. So what we're gonna do is a series from, it's called the 19 power poses. So all these shapes that we show that we're gonna learn and we're gonna dance together 
are all about power, bravery, confidence, determination. Okay, that's it. Take it on. Right. Yeah, why did you choose to dance with uh, Mark McCollum company instead of a play company? Excellent question. So, um, I, I'm obviously British okay. and um, I trained in the UK and I went to a ballet school in cool. London and it was at ballet school that I discovered contemporary. I'd never done contemporary before. Then when I graduated, I worked for a company here called um, York Dance Project. And they worked with the founder of modern dance in the UK, Sir Robert Cohen. He himself used to dance with Martha Graham way back when in the, in the 70s. And he bought contemporary modern dance to the UK and created his own company. He created the place and had the first ever contemporary dance company in the UK. And he started working with York Dance Project. And when I was there, he taught us Graham. And I was so inspired by the style. I realized that, ah, this is what I was looking for. This is something that I really connected with on a physical level, like we've just done, how it makes your whole body feel alive, but also uh, an emotional level, because a lot of the work is, it's, it's, not, it's not about fairies or princesses, or it's about real emotions, real feelings, people, strength and power, and softness and joy also. There is humor in the work. And I discovered that that's what I wanted to do. Um, I auditioned for the company and I, I got accepted. What is your favorite dance piece in performing? I've got, I've got two at the moment. So at the moment um, with the Graham company, we do a piece called Chronicle. So what I love about that piece is that um, it's, it's all women, but we're all portraying such power and such strength. It's, it's a half an hour piece and it is intense. We're constantly running. We're constantly jumping. I think within the first three minutes, there's about 120 jumps. So it's, whew, it's a lot, but you get such, I'm sure as you know, you get such a sense of achievement when you do something so hard and so physically demanding, and then when you accomplish it, you're like, ah, oh, I did that. So that's Chronicle. Um, and then the other one is a solo that Robert Cohen choreographed on me uh, just before he passed away. So it's a very special, a very special solo. Uh, hi, Laurel. Hello. I, I had a question for you, by the way. Um, it's a bit of a weird one. Did your teachers know and met Martha Graham? Uh, so, Bob Cohen that I was talking about, he actually danced with Martha Graham. So it was fantastic learning from 
Bob and being in the studio and him having these amazing stories about Martha Graham and what an incredible bit scary woman that she was. And so what a, it was such a fantastic person to learn from that he had all this knowledge from his time in the company, not only as a dancer, but also as a partner. So doing like physical partnering with her. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. And also, um, as a fan again, is your favorite, is your favorite song? Do you mean like piece or style of dance? Um, um, style. Style. Yeah. So at the moment, obviously I'm super into Graham. I'll, I'm loving my Graham technique, but I think it's, I think it's, even though I'm in this like specific particular company, the Martha Graham company. So we need to know how to do Graham really well. It's also really important to do other styles too. So we have um, Gaga. I don't know if you've, you've done any Gaga. We do a lot of that. We've had a hip hop teacher come in. We've had um, like Cunningham. So it's, it's hard to know what's my favorite because I feel like I enjoy so many different styles and actually it helps me in so many different ways of understanding different ways of moving and also like obviously doing it to different choreography. It's like a, a paint palette isn't it? If you've got all these different paints, all these different styles that you know and have tried, you can paint yeah. some really beautiful pictures because you've got lots of different knowledge. So yeah, no one particular favorite. I enjoy lots of them. So sorry, that's not really an answer to your question. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Jack. <laughs> I'm like, no, you accept that. <laughs> Is that okay? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> My actual question was um, on what sort of work you do? Oh, okay. So um, with the company, we're what's called a rep company. So we do lots of um, dances, whether it's group dances or duets or their solos too, that were choreographed by Martha Graham. So we learn all those pieces and we dance those pieces but then we do have other choreographers come in and create work on us so they make new pieces so all the martha graham work is already choreographed and we learn those pieces but then we also learn and um are choreographed on by new choreographers so we have all the graham work and then we have new work as well my question for you is actually how are you keeping fit in lockdown? Oh boy. Thank so you. excellent question. Because obviously I'm not in the studio with all my colleagues rehearsing five days a week, seven hours a day. So we've had to try and find lots of other ways of keeping fit, not only physically, but mentally too. So I've been doing classes at home like in, in, as I said, in my living room, but also I've been swimming because there's, but not swimming in a swimming pool. I've been swimming in a lake. There's a lake near me in the countryside that I go swimming in. I love it. Just being in water because I think as someone said earlier, they're Aquarius. I'm a Pisces, so I like being in water. Um, and yeah, swimming and running, variety is the spice of life, as they say. So. Absolutely. Well, what I was going to say, yeah. um, I really enjoyed, um, and it was a really good opportunity to see Laurel. Um, it's great to see her. What she did, did she, like teaching, teaching us what she did um, in her company, Martha Graham. Um, she told us what she did. That's really inspired me. It's brilliant what Martha Graham did because um, of, of writing. And um, I'm glad I've done the, the work 
works of when you said martha graham company was brilliant what what was brilliant about it what made you feel that <clears throat> well i think how many put in your words actually by the way it makes me feel that i'm like to say what mother graham showed me and the dance comedy that i did today was absolutely amazing i really loved it so much by the way but i am a bit of a drama queen sometimes <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but, but i would like to say that the drama <laughs> So you brought that side of you out today. You loved it. Yeah, you? yeah, it is. It's the drama <laughs> and the tension and the dancing are there. What 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 Laura did was actually just amazed me. Actually, yeah, I totally agree. Laura is a fantastic dancing teacher, and um, I like I like her doing a, a dance and copy at the same time. She used lots of imagery as well, didn't she? Put your hand up if you found that really useful. I like it. In the pictures. I don't, I don't yeah. And even just the, the piece of paper, just that simple imagery of a piece of paper with the contraction. Yes, it is, yeah. Follow, yeah. follow the, the ribbon perfectly with your arms, your legs and your feet and everything. Yeah, she was fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Hannah, anything about the actual movement or the the class, anything that you learnt or found tricky or? I just loved it. Can we do some more of it, please? Absolutely. I think the over the common goal, Alison, seems to be, can we do it again? So, <laughs> oh, what a good class. Woo. Bye. See you at four, guys. Bye-bye. See you at four. Cool. See you at four.